Hello everyone. Gonna cut straight to it this time. Box number four. Let's see what's inside. Again, I've not seen in these prior to this video, so it's a bit of a surprise for me as well. Okay, so here we've got in this box um, the rest of Trigon Maximum, which I showed in my other video. I have two volume ones because I bought number one and two online and they sent me two copies of volume one. One of them has actually got a few pages ripped out, but they got a refund, so. <laughs> um, we've got Genshiken, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Genshiken is one of my favorite series. I do love Genshiken. It's just about um, a group of otaku, basically, in their um, college, university kind of club. There's a very rich variety of characters and lots of comedic moments, but also lots of drama in the later volumes. Um, really great series. This is Genshiken. There's also an anime, which is how I first um, discovered it, but the manga's a lot better. And the anime doesn't cover it, the entirety of the manga either. Um, the manga also ended for a couple of years, but it's ongoing again now. It's resumed. Um, the, new, this, the new volumes, new chapters, I find are a bit lacking when compared to the originals, but it's still great. But the original first nine volumes were Genshiken fantastic. Here's the rest of Trigun. That's Trigun Maximum. Here's Trigun. The first, um, I'm not sure why it's two thick volumes of Trigun than Trigun Maximum. I guess they were different publication so the series name had to be changed or whatever. I'm not sure I'm not sure of the actual explanation but Trigon comes in two volumes and Trigon Maximum in normal sized manga volumes which is 14 volumes long I think but both series are connected I mean first you've got Trigon followed by Maximum. Here is Blood Plus. I've got volume one and two I'm not sure how long this series actually is because it's one I kind of I've bought. I don't know why I bought two volumes because I'm not a huge fan of it. I've seen Blood the Last Vampire. I've not seen the Blood Plus anime series. Um, this was an okay read, but it didn't grab me, so I didn't buy any anymore. And here we have Eden. It's an endless world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If I remember correctly, there's 18, I think, 18 volumes in this series. Um, last I heard, I haven't bought any of Eden in ages, because last I heard was Dark Horse, who would publish it, um, were cancelling the series, they were dropping it. But then I heard they were picking it up again, so I'm not sure where it is at the moment. For all I know, it could be all published. Um, which, if it is, I really need to buy the rest, because I love Eden. I have read it all. Um, so I can give my opinion on the complete series, uh, but I have to say, I think it's one of those series that starts off really good. It grips you so much, but then it can't quite keep up. Um, it gets ahead of itself a bit and the quality doesn't drop, but it just doesn't hold you as much as it did in the first volume or the first couple of volumes. I think volume... Perhaps, yeah, the first four volumes, or maybe first six-ish. Um, whatever the first arc is with the original characters is absolutely fantastic. And one thing I have to know in this series is the flow of the panels. Um, it just... It plays out like animation, which, of course, is a stupid thing to say. Um, of course, if manga's like storyboards for an anime in a way of course that's really you know that's not a good way to explain it because manga's a lot more than that but essentially that's kind of what it is but in Eden you notice I think the story flows a lot 
better um, in here than it does in certain other manga. And there's a fight sequence in, I think, in both volume 3 and 4, um, where it's the panels flow together and the action flows so well. It's I, Seriously, it's as exciting as it probably would be animated. Hiroki Endo, the author, is a master at drawing and it's so, so good. It's so well drawn, this series. Um, the detail, of, as you can see from the covers, is just fantastic. I do love the covers. They get a bit more, you know, simplistic as it goes on. But Volume 1 and 3 have really superb covers. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic series. Um, very mature, quite explicit in the later volumes. But um, really, I, I can't recommend it enough. Um, the first couple of volumes are fantastic. I remember I bought the first volume from Waterstones, which is a bookshop we have here in the UK, many years ago. And uh, got home, read it straight away. And uh, I remember feeling so gutted because I loved it so much. I wanted to go buy, back to the shop and buy the rest of the volumes. Um, but by the time I would have got there, it would have been closed. And that's how good it was. I was so gutted I couldn't read the rest that day. It's a really good series, though. Fantastic action as well, and a great, great story. Uh, and characters. It's got, it's got the whole package. So, Eden. Or Eden. It's an endless world. Really great series. Oh, I also have two copies of Volume 1 for some reason. Must have been the same as um, Trigon. Probably bought Volume 2 and they sent me Volume 1. Um, what's this? Here we have Oh My Goddess. I've not read this. Um, in fact, I'm not even entirely sure what it's about. I think I have these because they're very, very cheap. And um, it used to be, if I saw cheap manga, I just bought it. So that's why I have some obscure volumes and series lying around. I know this is popular, or at least it used to be popular, so um, I might get around to it one day. Uh, next is volume 1 and 2 of the Haruhi manga. Um, again, I've said before in my other video, I'm not a massive Haruhi fan, but I do enjoy it every now and then. So I bought the manga, but the manga, I mean, you might as well just watch the anime, basically. It's not saying it's bad or anything, but the anime is just superior, in my opinion. Next is Rose Hip Zero. That's number three. Uh, one and two. Where's... There's the rest. Three. No, four and five. Ooh. This is a series by the same um, author who did great teacher on Izuka, which I still have yet to read. It's one of my ones I wanted to read ages ago, but I never got around to it. Um, but the art is really, really, really good. It's kind of difficult to explain this series, because it's been a while since I read it. Um, I know it's not a hugely popular series, but it's only five volumes long, and it is a good read. I remember I enjoyed it, so that's something. Um, so yeah, that's Rose Hip Zero. There also is a, um, a sequel, which I think came out first, called Rose Hip Rose, and then this was released after as the prequel, but I don't think Tokyo Pop ever published, um, finished publication of Rose Hip Rose, so I haven't read that. Um, here we have Gurren Lagann, Volume 1, which I bought because I, I did love the anime. Oh, backwards. Is it backwards? Yes. That's a bit weird. No, it's not weird. Oh, the cover's just a, very, a bit... Don't know which way to open it. I'm being a noob. But yeah, this is Gurren Lagann, the manga. Um, again, same um, with the Haruhi manga. There's not really any point. Just watch the anime. That's because it's a series that the manga came out after the anime. Um... The first volume, at least, is the only one I've read, is not completely different. So, I would just stick to the anime, but, you know, if you if you prefer reading manga, by all means, check out the Gurren Lagann manga. Here we've got 
Welcome to the NHK, which unlike Gurren Lagann and Haruhi, the anime and manga are quite different. Um, the same guy who wrote the manga also wrote the original novel, which is again different. Um, this is what I love about Welcome to NHK. I love a series that has three different mediums, novel, manga, anime, and they're all slightly different. Um, not majorly, but again, not minorly. Uh, you can enjoy each as a kind of an original piece, but based on the same kind of thing, if that makes any sense. But Welcome to NHK is like a, a more darkly humoured, um, mature version of Genshiken, except it's about um, Hikikomori, a Japanese, you know, shut in, a hermit, who doesn't like going outside. And this girl who has issues of her own and she tries to help him and uh, it's really really good I do love Welcome to NHK the anime too and the novel is fantastic I really wish I could own the novel um, but that was published by Tokyo Pop who of course are not around anymore but if you ever come across it um, if you can ever find Welcome to NHK in shops which is probably rare but I don't know maybe you want to check it out online I don't know or maybe you've seen the anime and liked it and would like some more work on THK, so check out the manga if if you can. Next we've got let's just look at Bleach here. This is 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I have a box set of Bleach which gives me the first 21 volumes. Which is why I have um these particular volumes because it follows after volume 21 but I kind of gave up on Bleach after volume 26 as you can see um, yeah I, I, I'm aware that it's um, is both the manga and anime finished now? I don't know but either way I haven't read Bleach in a long time but it was one of those shamanins you know that you like when you first get into anime and manga and you know that kind of stuff here's Pretty Face this is a comedic series about a guy who um, is in an accident and um, the only picture he has on him I think is of his high school crush and then some crazy doctor remodels his face to be that girl and um, and then he kind of introduces himself as her twin sister or something it's been a while since I read it but it's a really funny series I did enjoy it um, no anime for this, so if you want a good series about, well, about high school humour, then uh, read Pretty Face. I, as far as I'm aware, it's still in publication. Good fun series, Pretty Face. So yeah. Lastly, we've got Peacemaker. This is comes before Peacemaker Kuragane that I showed in my other series, and I in. In a lot of ways, I prefer this series. I do like the covers as well, they're really good. All the uh, painty effects. This is based on the Shinsengumi, the kind of Japanese police force around in... Um, I'm not going to try and name the period, the Japanese historic period, because I got it wrong, but um, a while ago, you know, like 100 years, roughly, I don't know. But um, the Shinsengumi, which... Yeah, I saw the anime first, and then I it got me into kind of um, the manga, and then I got really interested in Shinsengumi things, which is actually how I found Gintama. But if you want a more historic portrayal of the Shinsengumi, um, well, historic, but entirely, or well, mostly fictional, besides the character names, um, check out Peacemaker. It's a good action, sword-based series. Uh, so yeah, the anime is also good but has a lot of filler episodes, but they're quite funny. So that's this box. We had Trigon, Trigon Maximum, Welcome to the NHK, Blood Plus, Pretty Face, Peacemaker, Gurren Lagann, Rosehip Zero, Eden, Haruhi, Oh My Goddess, um, Genshiken, and Bleach. And this video has been a lot longer than I want it to be. Want it, I'm going to use my words again. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, more manga next video. Bye.